the flexible filament LED. This style has been available for years in consumer bulbs, but recently these 3 volt versions have become available. Unfortunately, data sheets seem non-existent, leaving us in the dark. If I underpower the filament, I can see the individual LEDs, and it ruins the effect. They need to be brighter to look more like a solid tungsten filament, but overpowering them is bad. Most sources recommend limiting the current to 50 or 100 milliamps, but I've been testing these at 200 milliamps for days at a time. They definitely have some wiggle room. At 5 volts, I recommend using a 22 ohm resistor for any length up to 120 millimeters. However, longer versions need more current, so I recommend two 22 ohm resistors in parallel. This reduces the resistance and doubles the current capacity, keeping your resistors cool. I feel like these new filament style LEDs are going to unlock a lot of creative options for future projects.